good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. You were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. I don't think you understand the situation. Well, we can't hide on this planet forever. Eventually the Sith will find us, and trust me, you don't want that. Getting off this world isn't gonna be easy. We're probably gonna need Bastila's help. Not to mention that without her, the whole Republic war effort is doomed. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. But if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. And Bastila's no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain a battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So, if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war?
Oh, I get it. Never mind that the Sith will destroy the Republic and ravage the galaxy. You're only in this for the credits. Don't worry, the Republic pays its mercenaries well. You help me find Bastila, and they'll make it more than worth your while, I'm sure. Plus, it might be your only chance to get off Terrace. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. But everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. How can you say that? The Sith are butchers. Soldiers, civilians, I mean, they don't care who they kill, even, even children. Right now the Republic is the only thing keeping Malak's brutal fist from crushing the entire galaxy. And it won't be long until even the Republic falls to the Sith fleet. I'll tell you... The upper city, where the rich citizens live, is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... what's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad, journal. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out.
Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Let's go! Yeah, go! Jiska Rusuki Gumba na Bona na Kachu, I'm doing good. Toma na Bumba ya Gandona do Chuchu, Kabachi Kuita Hotonga. Yalamo in Kakumi, Jiloba Mulira ni Bobo. Wango kumbes kakang, ba mama rulira, kuya mi juskun a chitanai. Yina kun ba mama rulira ra chikun, slimo padona. Rundi hadonga chihonkabi. La boda ni winki smak toma. Wana kumbes ching ba mama rulira, tok ching bang non kek. Tok ninja mulira ra bes. Jawana bota ayu at tahonga chakanki dora kachi kui ta hodonga topa da bungwa ya gando do na no chut chut muksha pa pampa bola wana chitne ba muli slemo boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes uba batu kochi tong nong bong chang nung yang tong katok smak delia. Jawana bota ayu at tahonga cha kanki dora kachi kui ta hodonga topa da bungwa ya gando do na no chut chut muksha pa pampa bola wana chitne ba muli slemo boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here.
Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Chikun Tag, this to Ponko Kokimak Paka. Ching Palachiska Mule, Tunarana, Nu Prata, Tunko Sija, Tuma Wamamatus, Keva Toma. Nisha, Julorcha, Kinkuno, Bule Rajiko, Chanshak Bulara, Umra Chiska Duchi, On Chubanjiska Yanki, Titoke Gratun, Kun Chichakun, King Kachachonobra. Bogra wala tumba cha nechi chuna chuba ching lorda ita kun we tam borakatong mulira ashang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tise igrutu haga jijiwa wata chuma wana hu wama hu hu na tek. Chi gratu loda pograshi on new compa chin tomo mutuba loda nita kun ita patisa batua kachatu tonga pograsha kun tija kum chuba kaha chopa chawa chimish yunku jodo jit bungaranta mutishak pakat ki no no dama paole rachikun Yikukumo no ba mulera chikun tong hit kun chunching ne boboje mata ne punage dolpi kikuana takum just tak miki grabble mogo kachichu ita bodunga dolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut mogesha punga bola wana chikne 
Papa, mule slimo, puta da da nanga, kubist, mule rabes. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule, tonking ba nunotek, tuk nincha tu kun ne mule rabes. We itha nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetek. Ah, shatung ni patoga. Wano kuzbe ching pala mule donke. Achuta, wonga kun bis dulpi kikuyana. Dong patugas makdelea. Yes?
What? On it. It's open. Yes? Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Chita na patogta ya fulke gogala jiji ka wana bora atu gawa kan kito rakun watimi ala bola hey there what well, what what we you walk and i just clean those floors I get it. You figure that just because I'm a janitor, you don't have to show me any respect. I'm beneath you, is that it? Go, go change your tune the first time your plumbing breaks down and raw sewage floods your apartment. Then you'll be begging for Kadir to come help you out. There's no need to antagonize the man. Besides, do you want to live in filth? I sure don't. Well... We'll see who has the last laugh, then. Now, if you ain't gonna be civil, then I got work to do. This place doesn't clean itself, you know. Hey there, wh well, watch, watch where you're walking, I just clean those floors. Hey, I do the best I can with the equipment I got. You're just like all the rest, complaining about me all the time. You, you'll change your tune the first time you're plumbing. There's no need to antagonize. Well, we'll see. He there, what? what? Go. There's no need to. Well, he there. Well, all right then. No hard feelings. I'm Kadir. I'm I'm the janitor here. Geez, I know you're a new tenant and all, but. I didn't think you'd forget me already. I have feelings, you know. Go, go change your two. There's no well. He there. What? Well. I'm Kadir. I'm I'm the janitor here. Geez, I know you're a new tenant. And all. But I didn't think you'd forget me already. I have feelings, you know. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new...
Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks is sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm, I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash land. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. I know that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Yes, what's on your mind? Terror from that's all you got.
Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden becks were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. It's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad, as long as you stay in the upper city. Just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies.
Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Questions? <laughs> I don't come here to answer questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quick crowding my gambling table. My name is Niklos. I'm... If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago. Things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits gets you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. I'm sorry to hear that, but 50 credits is my best offer. I'm practically giving the deck away at that price. If you want it, it's yours. If not, no hard feelings. Of course, of course, my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough. Though well, it was better before the Sith showed up. But they don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us, Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely.
Oh, great. I see where this is going. The Sith are evil. Why did I join them? Blah, blah, blah. I, I don't need a lecture from the likes of you. Don't try to analyze me. I'm just doing my job. Same as any other soldier in any other army. Besides, I don't have to explain myself to you. I don't think we have much else to say to each other. Let's just keep this civil and go our separate ways, okay? Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? Good. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax. I'm surprised the Sith haven't done anything. Nice outfit. It's a good thing a few of the Sith... You like Pazak? I used to... Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I would guess you've experienced many lonely evenings, something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. No hard feelings. <laughs> nice outfit. You still Isn't this band great? They can't leave terror. Mucha shakapaka. Yi ki kun no ba mula draki chi chon. Mucha shakapaka. Yi. the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I'm scouring the intercity looking for the Republic escape pods and they reek of the sewers. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Do I know you? No. This cantina isn't the fanciest joint I've ever been in. If you're here to complain about the quarantine, you know it's bad. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. <sighs> I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan! <laughs> and to 
nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. That Twitch is an animal. You couldn't pay me enough to get into the ring with him. Why doesn't Duncan just give the sport up? He's terrible! I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. Why doesn't Duncan just give the sport up? He's terrible! Oscar, what are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. What are you looking at, fresh meat? I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. Uh, five? But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can, but not many do. Yeah, that's right. Back off. You know better than the challenge, Deadeye Duncan. I will mess you up. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring, or did you just come to watch? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. You seem to be... Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. Hello there, off-world. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. 
Are you looking for a match? If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Our area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Taurus? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Wait. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful. I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called ice? Well, I've heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring. Not to have some slack-jawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. Now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Back again. Uchan Yotoro Joefa Ola Nachineka Bamule Rakun is king. Nilunka Gratuk Ajor Ha 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 Chimut Malaya Pist Red Wata Chiche Nautun Chong Yomagola Yuman. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Chiyoka Kolmolera, Kim Konjo Pesha, Nova Moleraji, Jarion Tora, Chi, Aitadia, Ulauna Chinek, Babulera Slimoanga Kubiskin. Ha ha ha! 
Kokola Jiji, Wajad Nichu, Tonga Toras Makelea, Hehe, Ashuta, Wonga Kumbis Jolpeki Koyana. Kipona, Kona Naikacho, Kimba Mule Ratwana, Kawupa Botenya Mojojo Pite, Kawa Dumpa Kutaiya Mokata, Wonga Kumbis, Kimba Mule Ra, Kakin Chana Kogba Kon, Kawa Dumpa Kutaiya Botenya. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the end of spine. Ako Chikopa. Chino Molera King Paja. Slima Puiguana. presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Jedi Duncan, and in the other corner a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlang Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Talis during scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Eh, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Questions? I don't have to answer your questions just because you beat me in the ring. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. A blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? You son of a rat. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Come 
mysterious stranger has won! Ice is knocked out cold! Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. What? Why? Get away from me. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. <laughs> Now I'm retired now. Once deathmatches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless to me. Up to you. Back again? You start... Sorry. I don't waste my time with no names. You have to prove yourself before you get a shot at me. I'm the real deal kid. 100 death matches without a loss. But if you can knock off all these other pretenders in the duel ring... I might consider coming out of retirement to face you in one last death match. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So, move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing on for it today. I don't want to be mobbed. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Welcome to the equipment. Yeah.
Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. There is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. Center can barely afford to stay open as it is. But it hardly matters anyway. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Of course, just step. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. Recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless. unless you're a friend of the Republic. What? No! You don't tell the Sith! Please! I, I can explain all this. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they are hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. No, it's not. The Sith would torture men like these or worse. And you're not threatening this man while I'm present. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You've got your credits. Now please show yourself out. You're no longer welcome here. Psst. 
You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Ghoul Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taras. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Hunters are going to take me away and kill me. And my thwart may not to take a loan from Davik. No, I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead.
Are you joking? We don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. We were happy to help. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davig's goons show up. You should do the same. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Here, take the credits, but please, just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them than this. What... what do you want now? You're not going to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? I knew you were here to kill me. Well, I won't go down without a fight. Your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. 
Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole? We have a helper. We start them, please. He has fun and no reason to fit on the box. Get in here. Search the room. I know those uniforms are in here somewhere. What do you want, civilian? Do you have any information about the missing Sith uniforms? Make it quick. You're awfully curious about this. Maybe a little too curious. I think you know more about those missing uniforms than you're saying. A threat? I knew you were a spy. on your mind. You got it. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know- I I'm sorry. I You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. supposed to be here? This ain't your home! I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out!
Antares used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. Coming to, huh? Yep. Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to the lower city where you belong, Swami? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said, these streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Me ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, or so I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee. I am an employee. Then, if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. This guy's just stirring up trouble. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. Friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taurus. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. 
It pains me when the dead. You are like all. Come on. It pains. You are. Come on. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning. Off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along. Unless you have the proper authorization papers. This elevator is off limits. It's off. Move. I'm gonna need. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean.